All right, today I am doing a test pour. I have a commission for a 40 by 60, a giant canvas. And, ah, this is stuck to the paper. And I have here, hopefully you can see these colors. We move them forward a bit. So, I have a mix of phthalo blue and phthalo green and basics. This is more green than blue. And I have a mix of copper and 24 karat gold in the Deco Art Metallics. And that is what that looks like. Satchmo, get down. Rotten cat. So, uh, I'm going to do a straight pour and see how this turns out with these colors. So, what I have here, I have, this is the mix of the blue and green. To that... I have added varying amounts of white to create these shades. And to each of the colors, not the white, not the darkest blue, but to these colors, I have added 25% of the satin enamel in pure white. So what I do is I have I mix the paints to the color that I like, almost, and then I add the white, the satin enamel white to that, and then I add my Floetrol. These are mixed, one part paint to two parts Floetrol, and thinned to consistency, that's thick, with my mixture of 90% water 10% Floetrol. This needs a hair more of the water and Floetrol mixture. They got a little thick on me. They've been sitting for a bit. I wasn't able to paint right away. Dinner was happening and tacos are crunchy. No one wants to hear an 11 year old eat tacos on the interwebs. Actually, they probably do. I'm sure there are people who do that that make millions of dollars. But <laughs> that's not why y'all are here. The consistency that you want, it will not make a mound, it just disappears immediately, but it doesn't sink. If it sinks, it might be too thin. You run the risk of breaking those polymer bonds Okay, I have a 20 ounce cup here. This is a 16 by 20 canvas. That needs about 12 ounces of paint-ish. The copper is a copper gold mixture. I do have a bit thicker. Actually, it's a hair too thick. Um, if you go too thin with a metallic, it will not make a cell, or it may make cells, but what you will get is a sheen of mica that appears over your other paints. Sometimes you want that, sometimes you don't. Not going for that right now. I'm testing this to try to get some a sea of cells. I want it to look like you're diving into a pool of bubbles. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna lay down my base coat first. My base coat is mixed a bit thinner than the other paints. I want those paints to be able to slide very easily over my base coat. 
Now I'm going to fill my cup. I will start with the darkest color that has no satin enamel in it. This will wind up being the background color that the cells pop up through. And then I will just continue to add paint from darkest to lightest. And then last but not least, the copper and gold blend, which I will pour from a pie because I want that blended in with all the colors. So pouring it from a pie will help it to sink. Let's do it, shall we? That looked like a hunk of something just fell. I don't like that one bit. Okay, let's stretch this out. Right now, I'm moving this around because I'm looking for the chunk that I saw.
I feel like I need to tilt some of this off. It feels like there's a lot of paint on here. And I don't want it to crack. The satin enamel will sometimes crack. Spot at the gunk. Oh, that was a big old hunk of something. Okay. Regarding composition, it's always good to remember the rule of thirds. You don't necessarily want your focal point directly in the center. Okay, I'm going to let this sit and see what develops. Back in a few. One, two, three, four, check. One, two, three, four. <clears throat> one, two, three, four, check. One, two, three, four. This thing's been doing something weird in the beginning. <coughs> okay, here it is. It is showing up on the camera darker, well, more blue. Then in person there's a bit more green in there don't know why this color just does not show up on this camera but we have some cells this piece is dry i've got some of those funky gold cells Some nice 3D looking action there. It's hard to see the, the gold that is in between because of the reflection from the light, but there you have it. Well, I hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and share and subscribe and all that good stuff. Do check out the description box below for links to my PayPal tip jar if you feel so inclined. If you find these videos useful and like to help me stay stocked up in supplies, that's a great way to do it. Also, the Amazon store, if you enter the link in the description box, anything that you purchase off the entire site of Amazon, I receive a small commission of at no additional cost to you. So while you're doing all your Christmas shopping, do think of me. <laughs> um, what else? My website. Go make some art. Do check that out. That is where you can purchase my music and my art. A brand new CD, Better Than Chocolate. If you haven't seen the video for that, that is also in the description box. And last but certainly not least, join our Facebook group, Go Make Some Art. 
post your masterpieces, ask your questions, get some inspiration. All right, you guys, that is it for me. I hope you have a beautiful day. Now go make some art.